the world here. Yeah. First time in the time I've been up here, we've heard one croaking. Definite croaking buck, fellow buck that is. I just brought Lee up for the first morning just to show him where I'd seen him. And just as we thought I'd have a, oh, I seen a fox out in the middle. I thought oh, I'll whistle him in and just hit him with one of my low powered three or eight rounds. Just so I arced the whistle up. We got definite croaking. So our plan changed, and we know where he is now. We know where he is. He's up there. What about now? Oh, oh, oh. oh right. Do I get my rocks out again? Yeah, I think you need to get the special ones, you know, just the... Hey, uh, you got to, it's like, it's like trying to whistle Skippy, you got to get the right gum leaf, mate. Can't just pick up any old rock. No. Could have played the right music. Yeah. Well, a rock, a rock seems to be his <laughs> favour. <laughs> see if you can again to get a response. <laughs> Well, after coming up here early this morning and uh, just was about to have a call at uh, that fox was in the gully, I finally heard a uh, fellow buck, or what I believe to be a fellow buck, finally letting out a good run of croaks or whatever you want to call them. But uh, anyway, he was croaking away. Uh, Lee, rec Lee reckons it's a uh, koala, but... Uh, no, he, he knows. We know both know what it is. Uh, and it's only 11.30. I'll come back now. I'm going to try and get up into this gully. And I'm going to have to go in after him because he's just not showing his face until dark, obviously. Because um, I reckon this morning, even though we we're here just on daybreak, he was making his way back up into the scrub. Anyway, uh, this is going to be either make or break now bit of a challenge especially once I get up in there it's going to be drier it's going to be a lot harder to move without making noise that's one of the reasons I've come up early it is just before lunch and I'm going to try over the next two or three hours get up around behind him get up some a little bit of height and just sit wait listen and look a lot that's the plan it could go pear-shaped and it could push him further back into the bush um, to be honest with you, I just want to see uh, that he is what I think he is. Well, it hasn't been recently rubbed, but this is what I was talking about earlier. They love these trees. It's so dry, I keep saying it, I know, but it's so dry. I don't know if you can hear that, but that buck has all of a sudden decided to arc up, up ahead of me, I'd say about 300 yards.
let's go see if we can find him. I'm not sure if he thought something was wrong, but he's moved off pretty quick with, I think, one one of the does. I've only heard him make one grunt. Oh, hold on. There goes one. Oh, they're doing the bounce. So something's not right. They're onto me, I think. Oh, I was just about to pack up and move off. Because the buck shut up shop noise wise and then I just sat and talked over to my right and out of the gully come a young spiker I think and it's just wandered back up the way I come he didn't pick me the wind's been reasonably kind in the end so if I can get out of here without really disturbing too much gives us the opportunity to come back in later on, especially if the boys want to get in and have a, have a crack. 